Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a bathroom. You guys really liked it when I showed you how to make a kitchen, so I thought I'd make a similar tutorial for this bathroom right here. This is supposed to be put into a suburban house, but you can absolutely mend the material so that it would fit into any kind of house whatsoever. I think that that's probably enough talking, though. If you want to make this thing, here's what you're going to need. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some birch wood plank, some pillow quartz block, and some black stained glass paint. Plus, we'll need everything that you see in the inventory right there. I know, that's a lot of stuff. We almost can't carry it all. So, you may want to pause this video, make sure that you have everything that you see in the inventory, plus we'll probably even need some more stuff. I'm likely to have forgotten something, and once you have all of that, you can progress onto the actual tutorial itself. So, to begin with, we're just going to be making the actual room itself, just so that you guys understand the dimensions that we're going to be working with. This bathroom can fit into a smaller or larger bathroom, but you may have to add and subtract things to make it look better. But this is what it's supposed to fit into. This is the sort of room size. We're going to begin with a row of 11 block of quartz in a row on the floor. And this is the long row. So this is like going towards the back of the bathroom with the window. We want 11. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then going right of this 11th block, I'm going to do a row of 9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I then want to extend this until it is all the way even with the very first block of quartz that I placed. I'm then going to connect it back to it and I'm going to fill the floor in with block of quartz. The reason being is because I want this floor to be block of quartz. Alternatives are a nice little bit of chiseled sandstone, black and white, maybe even a little bit of red stained clay added here and there. I'm going to add a little bit of carpet to this later as kind of like a bath mat sort of thing, but you guys can do whatever you want. And this is the sort of area that the bathroom is going to fit in to. We then want to take out the virtual planks, and on top of this short row that we have at the end, you know, where we went right with the nine, we want to add a row of virtual planks on the end of this row. We then want to extend the left hand and right hand blocks up, each by three. That's one, two, three. This is with virtual planks, of course, and one, two, three. Then, starting from on top of the second row, from the left, we want to do a virtual plank, a pillar quartz block, two black stained glass pane, and then a pillar quartz block. Then on top of the pillar quartz block and the glass, stack an additional row of the same material, and then fill up the rest of the wall with birch wood planks until it is even with the top row of birch wood. Then take the birch wood and extend it, and you want to basically just form two walls on the left and the right hand side, equal to the row of birch wood planks that you have at the very end of the room. You guys know what I'm doing here. I'm sure that it's quite easy to see what we have to do. So we just want to form solid walls here, and this will be the left hand side and the right hand side of our bathroom. You want to end up with something that should look like this. And that is wonderful. That is the room that we have. I'm going to get rid of these materials. So, to begin the actual bathroomy stuff, I'm going to grab the cauldron, the quartz stairs, I'll need the block of iron, the buttons, the stone pressure plate, the wooden trap door, the water bucket, the oak fence, and the item frame. This is just for the toilet. So, I'm going to begin, and I'm going to put the toilet right here. So, where we have the front left hand corner, I'm going to take this first quartz block and I'm going to move in by one. I'm going to place, and this is a bit difficult, I want an upside down stairs here with a cauldron in front, in front of it. So I'll place the cauldron and then the upside down quartz stairs directly behind it if I can. This is a little bit tricky due to the positioning and it may be a bit easier if I just knock out that block in the wall. Above the upside down stair, I want a block of iron. Above the iron, a stone pressure plate, to the left of it a button, and I want to fill the cauldron in with a water bucket and place a wooden trap door on top of it. Right of the block of iron, I want an oak wood fence with an item frame in front of that. We're already missing material. We actually need paper. So I'm going to grab, where are you, my old friend, an empty map, and I'm going to place an empty map inside of the item frame. There we have a toilet with a toilet roll holster. That's all that is. And I'm also going to replace that block that I put in a wall. If you put a hole in a guy's wall, you should probably replace it. There we go. That's the toilet. Looks really good. Fits into any sort of setting that you want. Next bit, we're going to make ourselves some cabinets. So we're going to need the oak wood planks of this. One row away from the toilet, on the wall, we want a an oak wood plank. Next to it, we want a stone slab. Then we want a cauldron. Then we want an oak wood plank. 
In front of the right-hand oak wood plank, we want a button. In front of the left-hand one, we want a wooden trap door. We're also going to need tripwire hooks. We still need the water. We're going to grab a cup, flower pot, and we're also going to grab, grab a weighted pressure plate with an item frame. And we also need the regular white stained glass paint or a, a, a white stained glass paint, something like that. Some sort of glass. And we want to fill the sink in. This is the sink, the cauldron with water. Tripwire hook above it. Right of that, an item frame with a glass in it. Then on top of this, uh, on top of this slab, we want to have a flower pot. That's just kind of like a toothbrush holder, something like that. And left of that, a weighted pressure plate. And they're, they're just like a standard set of units. Um, also, I'm going to add a painting just above these two at center in front of the cauldron and in front of the slab. I'm just going to have like a two by two painting, preferably a nice one. I'd like that, maybe like the creeper or maybe like a serene setting, something like that. I asked for the creeper, I got the creeper, that's wonderful. Okay, in the back corner here, I want to have a just a plant pot. Plant pots, I always make the same, typically. I always do a brown stained clay, wooden trapdoors around them, jungle leaf on top. Wonderful. That's a nice little potted plant. Just below the window, I want to have oakwood fence with red carpet. So I'm going to have oakwood fence just below the window with red carpet on top of this. So this can be interpreted in a couple of ways. Since, unfortunately, Xbox do not yet have banners, and you have no idea how much I wish we would because I'd be able to make curtains and all sorts of stuff, this can either be like a little table or it can be like a towel rack, something like that. I'd prefer if it was a towel rack, like radiator, but Xbox, what can you do? Okay, next bit, we want to make a shower. We need quite a few things for the shower. We need glass. I'm going to be using the white stained glass pane again. Uh, hoppers will need stone slabs. I'm also going to want to grab a little bit of quartz slabs. I'll also need lighting, just a little bit. And I don't think that I need much else. Oh, we'll also need a lever. Lever, however you want to pronounce it. I always say lever, don't know why. Okay, right in this back corner is where the shower is going to be. We want to knock out these two by two a two by two square right in this corner and we want to replace it with stone slabs around that we want to knock it out again except we want to have a layer of stone slabs around it like in the upper half so we have the lower half in the corner and we have the upper half just above it we then want to do white stained glass pane going all the way around on top of the stone slabs and we want to have in total three layers of this so we want to have three layers of glass pane going all the way around on top of this, like that. Then, we want to have a layer of quartz slabs going all the way around the top of that. We want to have uh, sea lanterns in the top of this, discreetly. We want to knock into these two front hand corner blocks so that we can enter and exit the shower. Plus, we want a hopper right here in this position, like that. Looks pretty good. If you don't want the sea lanterns to be as uh, as obtrusive as they are, you may want to delete these. And I realize I've just destroyed the hopper. Um, you may want to delete just like one of them or so. And I'm just going to place the hopper here. And uh, you may just want to delete one. But the idea is that we do get a, a little bit of light from one of them. And that can be built into the ceiling. And it will be in the attic and it won't be in your way. Um, then with the lever, you just want to place a lever somewhere around here. So you can control the flow of water if it was to exist. Which it currently doesn't, of course. Okay, next bit that we're going to do is we're going to do the bath. To make the bath easy we need quartz stairs and we need ourselves the tripwire hooks again and i'm also going to use paintings as well just as a little bit of decoration so one row away from the shower i want to have a bath that looks like this i want to have a row of one two three four quartz stairs and then just in front of those opposite facing quartz stairs except on the ends we want it to curve i thought that it'd curve naturally but it doesn't so we want to have something which should look like that which looks like a, just a nice regular old tub and then tripwire hooks placed on the side there to look like actual taps that's what that's supposed to be then throw a painting just above the taps uh that's i don't really want that one i want something that's a little bit more serene for the bath that'd work but what i'm really looking for is you guys might know the one it almost looks like a a dusky a dusky sort of scene overlooking i don't know like a forest or something but any two by two painting would do preferably not the pig we've gotten pretty much every single one but the one i want i'll just settle for this uh, i don't want to repeat i was going to say i'll settle for that one but you know what i'll settle for the next one that kind of makes sense 
This is taking a lot of while. I really wish this wouldn't take too much time. That doesn't make sense either. Ah, oh, guys, this is such a... Do you guys ever have this problem? I'm usually pretty good with these, but that one will work out nicely. So there we have the bath. The last thing that I'm going to add to the floor is a little bit of red carpet. I'm going to add a bit of red carpet that is as long as the bath, one row away, and I want to have two layers of the carpet. So I want to have something which should look like that. That functions as just to break the room up a little bit because there's a lot of white involving the bath and the shower, and it also looks like a little bit of a bath mat. Next thing I want to do is I want to add, I want to add some lighting to the roof. So the lighting is going to be used quite sparingly, but first I'm going to add a roof to this, and I'm going to use quartz slabs. So the quartz slabs are going to sit in line with the upper row of the top row of birchwood planks. Did that sentence make sense? I'd be surprised if it did, but it wants to be in line with the top row of the top row of birchwood slabs. You got oh virtual planks. You guys get the idea. So it's like that, like half a block higher than the shower. Now we're going to add the lighting in, and we just need some redstone lamps and some block of redstone. So the first light is going to be placed directly above the bath mat. So it is in line with the bath mat completely. It is like those two blocks wide, and if you have a look down, it's like two blocks wide, and it is uh, four blocks long. I'm also going to add two more strips of lights. One row away from the actual like this is the big light and then one row away on the right and one row away on the left i'm going to add a light that looks like this you guys get the idea so it's as long it's just one row away on either side i'm going to place redstone lamps directly above the hole that we've made because otherwise they would be poking through the ceiling half a block which is an effect you may like but it is not an effect that i like so i'm going to have that then i'm just going to for the sake of it i'm going to have block of redstone lighting these because uh i don't really want to have to wire this place although you could you could make a light switch if you so wanted and there you have your bathroom guys this is your nice little modern suburban bathroom so not only do we have a nice toilet that we have that we can flush or that opens the lid and then we can flush it on top and we have some toilet paper and we have a place that we can brush our teeth wash our hands look in the mirror and this is just like a regular cabinet with just like a regular top on it we have a nice plant we have a, a table or a towel rack it kind of depends how you look at it we have a nice shower that we can flick on and off and we have a bath with a nice lovely serene view above it and we have wonderful lighting well there you go that is your sort of like a modern bathroom it's kind of nice it's kind of standard i hope that you guys like it maybe i'll make another one of these in the future to perhaps fit a different kind of house if you guys requested it or Tell me what you want me to do in another room and then maybe I'll do it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. Please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. I won't know unless you tell me. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. I would love it if you showed me pictures of what you've made, if you suggest stuff, if you just have a bit of a, a, bit of a little chat. Also, check out the cards and the description below for all of the other builds and playlists. If, you if you're looking for a house to put this in, Look in that playlist, you'll find one. Also, the other tutorial that I made. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.